Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, October 11th, so it's Vlogtober Day 11. I just got done sewing up the rest of the bags. I just had to do, it was like 30 or 40 minutes of sewing, um, closing the bags up. So now I've got all the drawstring bags laying here on my couch. <laughs> and I got the strings and everything, so I gotta run the drawstrings. I just started a movie. Um, got something in my hand, I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> um, Bed of Roses. It's got Christian Slater in it, which I also love so much. And it's just such a cute love movie. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's like one of my favorite movies ever. <laughs> so I'm going to watch it. And then also I'm planning on watching Edward Scissorhands today, if I have the time. But I wanted to open this real quick so that I could go ahead and have it open. It's day 11. It's got Mary on it. From Hocus Pocus. I got the window open today. Ooh, really bright orange like a red heart pumpkin I think is what that's called. Ooh, another Kit Kat. <laughs> that's what happened with all the Kit Kats. I haven't eaten them all yet. But I'm working on it. Alright, we got another Kit Kat. We've got a strawberry candy. Two hard lifesavers. Hard time getting them out. Okay. Two starbursts. A lemon candy. A sticker that says Hocus Pocus and it's a cauldron. And one that says Thack Thackeray Binks, which is Binks' name. I always like the name Thackeray. I thought that was such a cool name. There's also some more buttons. So there's another little skull. There's a little spider and a bat. You hear that crow? I love crows. I got the window open today because it's a little windy. And I wanted to feel some of it while sitting here just relaxing. So my candy in here. I took Jesse to my mom's this morning and I did the sewing and now I'm gonna sit here. It is 11.45. So I'm gonna sit here and work on the drawstring bags and then I gotta get pictures made of the bags. And I'm gonna make a video announcing the shop update tomorrow. 12th at uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And yeah, then I gotta start on the next load of bags. That's how my life is. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna put this in my blanket later and I'll catch up with you guys eventually. I'm gonna watch this movie now because I love it. All right, I got all the bags done. They're over here. Got all the strings ran. Got my scrunchie. <laughs> my hair was acting crazy earlier. I had to put it up. It was like fluffed out. <laughs> But I just recorded the video for the announcement of that. I gotta go edit that real quick and then get it up. And let's see, it's 1.15 now. <laughs> I finished watching my movie. So it was about two hours, because I think it was 11.45 when I started it. Uh, and I sat here and I did that, and also I ate a snack afterwards, because I was hungry. And I watched Better Roses, it's such a good movie. I cried, <laughs> I always cry on that movie. Um, I love Christian Slater so much. Even now that he's older, he still looks good. <laughs> but I really love the 90s Christian Slater beautiful <laughs> anyways I wish I had been older in the 90s I was a kid in the 90s I think I would have appreciated the 90s so much more if I had been a teenager <laughs> but um, I'm appreciating them now anyways I gotta put these bags up and I gotta edit that video and then in a little while I'll wake Devin up I don't think we gotta do anything today I can't think he has to work tonight Jesse's at my mom so I'll have to not to myself <laughs> I'll probably end up in bed watching TV and crocheting because I think that sounds like a good idea <laughs> um yeah what else I need to do I got a load of laundry in the dryer that I put in the dryer last night when we went to bed and it's still set it there <laughs> it's just some towels and Jesse's blanket again because I just washed it and then he got ketchup on it so now I had to wash it again but that blanket has been washed so many times because he's been using it ever since he was a baby it was mine Devin bought it for me when we were dating it's a Ninja Turtle blanket and uh, Jesse, once he, when he was a baby, he just ended up with it, and it's been his ever since. So, yeah, but uh, it's still kicking. I wanted to mop the floors today, but I don't know if I'll get around to doing it. I'll need to at least mop the living room and the kitchen. The bathroom's pretty clean, because when Jesse was sick, I cleaned it multiple times a day, because he had a lot of accidents in the floor in the bathroom, and 
threw up a couple times there. So it is very clean. It's probably cleaner than it's ever been because <laughs> I was uh, Clorox and everything. So I, I was trying to keep me and Devin from getting what he had. And we did, luckily. And I was washing my hands so much they were like dry and brittle because <laughs> I was trying so hard not to get pink eye because I'm usually the kind of person who picks up everything from people. So, uh, but we accomplished it. Jesse's like pretty much 100% better now. His eyes cleared up, his ear is fine now, and uh, he hasn't been sick anymore. He, the only thing he has is he's still got a lot of drainage going on, so he coughs at night when, he's, when his uh, sinuses are draining. But he's good, he's happy. He went to his granny's this morning, and uh, his Paul's working, but he'll be super happy when Paul gets off work because his best friend in the world is Paul. So, um, my mom sent me some pictures of him. I'll pop it up if I can think about it playing in the dirt outside her house. So he, he can't do that here, you know, because we live in an apartment. So he gets to do a lot of things there that he can't do here. And that's probably the reason he likes to go there. Plus he gets away with murder there. Because he's spoiled rotten to them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so. Now I've gotta, I gotta go put my bags up because I always try to keep them somewhere where I don't have to worry about Jesse getting them or anything to get them dirty. And I'll package them up once they sail and send them on their way to their new owners. I, I love, um, the idea that so many bags that I made is being used to other people's houses. I think that's so crazy. And some of them are in other countries, which is even crazier. But cool, I know I've sold them to Canada, to Australia, to uh, the UK, all over over there. Um, Ireland, uh, I'm spacing, <laughs> I have pregnancy brain. Um, one went to Israel. I have a list. I actually keep a list on my computer because <laughs> I'm a nerd. I'm a I'm a numbers and records kind of person. I have a lot of like Excel files and stuff, but I have a list of where all my bags have went, um, like to all the states and then all the countries and stuff. I put where they all went just because it's cool to look at. I would, I'd like to have a big map one day with little pins in it, you know, like you see in movies, because <laughs> it's just cool to see where they've all went. Some of them went down to South America, but I can't remember exactly what the places were called off the top of my head. But it's, just, it's just cool to think that my bags are just kind of floating out in the world, you know, doing, holding people's projects, you know, it's just cool. But yeah, I, I do enjoy making bags. I don't enjoy it all the time because sometimes it's like annoying, <laughs> you know, there's other things I'd rather be doing than sewing, but I do enjoy making them, you know. It's fun to go pick out the fabric. It's fun to uh, get feedback from people, and it's fun to uh, just know that they're out there and people's actively using them, you know? It's cool. It's really cool. But anyways, I'm gonna hop off here and get that one video edited because I need to get it up so that people know that the shops are coming up tomorrow. I mean the bags. <laughs> and then I need to put the bags up and put that yarn up. <laughs> I have a ball of yarn out because I put it in the bag to hold its shape for the picture that I already took. So I can make my listings tomorrow. I'm not gonna worry about making them today. I don't think I'll just do it tomorrow. Um, I've got making my Etsy listings down to a, uh, like an art. Cause when I first started making my Etsy listings, it took forever cause you have to make one individually, you know? But I've learned a lot of little tips and tricks over the years <laughs> of how to do it uh, quicker. And uh, so now I can get my, my shop updated pretty fast. And then I usually make my listings like a day or so before my update and then when it's time for when my alarm goes off <laughs> and telling me to update my shop all i gotta do is go in there select them all and hit publish and they're up but yeah so i'm gonna go do all that stuff and i'll catch up with you guys later at some point <laughs>later in the day it's a lot of froth <laughs> I'm sitting here I got both the windows open I don't know if you can be, see it because I'm glary you can see these blowing around because the wind is coming from behind and it feels so good I turned the air off in the house and I, I brought a fan out just to help me not get so hot <laughs> it's still kind of hot outside but the wind's blowing so it's fallish it's fall for us <laughs> um, 
But yeah, so I just got done eating some cream style corn. I wish I could say that was a pregnancy related meal. <laughs> but I have always loved cream style corn and I can eat it by the bowl full, which is what I did with my bowl. <laughs> Devin thinks it's disgusting, but uh, I love it. Anyways, I had butter in it and salt. And <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm sitting here now, I'm watching YouTube videos. Hi, Mallory. <laughs> and uh, I pulled out all my current projects, piled them up here so I could work on whichever one I wanted to. <laughs> I think I'm gonna work on um, some of my Christmas squares for, cause I, I finished my snowman ones and you'll see those in uh, my next Snowcatch Name episode. So now I need to pull out the next week. I'm not sure what that is. I need to go look. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and make these squares cause I got that, that pattern in my head. And I've been working on my uh, midwife blanket. I don't know, I'm trying to pull my yarn up so I don't lose a stitch. Come on, work with my blanket. It's gotten a lot Ugh, bigger. I'm almost done with the multi one. Got one more round to do and it'll be done and I'll be putting pink back on it. And I also got my spider blanket over here <laughs> to put my ball in. And yeah, so I'm just enjoying some quiet. Jesse's gone, Devin just left for work. He leaves around five. Got the windows open, the breeze is coming in, it feels so good. <laughs> I'm watching some YouTube and I got my Halloween lights turned on. The ones outside are on also. <laughs> I forget to turn them on all the time. But I remember today, I just ate me some corn. <laughs> I feel like that's so funny because it's usually a side dish, but I could eat it as a meal. I love corn. Uh, I'm definitely a carb person. Starch person. <laughs> I could eat corn and potatoes like any time. But I know it's not the healthiest thing in the world, but you know, whatever. I'm only gonna live once, might as well enjoy cream style corn. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just catching up on my crochet videos and then I'm gonna switch over to my other YouTube account and watch the other things I watch, like uh, cleaning videos and recipe videos, things like that. Uh, budget related things, stuff like that. I try to keep them separate for my own sake. <laughs> so on my main channel, I only watch crochet channels so that that's all that pops up in my feed. And then on my other channel, I watch everything else. <laughs> but um, a lot of people was asking about the recipe yesterday. I completely forgot. I was going to show it when it was done and then talk about it. But it was just my brain, pregnancy brain, I guess, or just Ella. <laughs> I completely forgot to do that. But it was very delicious. Me and Devin both liked it a lot. Jesse's eaten it before, but he didn't want any this time. When I made it in the skillet, he ate a whole bunch of it. Um, we just tell him it's hot dogs. Because if we told him it was kielbasa, he'd be like, what? <laughs> but um, he eats it as hot dogs. It was really good. We liked it a lot. Um, the only thing that me and Devin thought is that the ratio of potatoes and meat was off. Like, I, I told Devin if I make it again, I'm only going to use one pound of hash browns instead of the two pounds. Or uh, put two kielbasas in it <laughs> uh, instead of just the one. So, I just felt like it needed more meat. Uh, so... Probably easier to just put less potatoes because it wouldn't make as much anyways. We have leftovers. Devin ate some earlier and I might eat some later. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm going to sit here and relax and crochet on something. Probably the Christmas squares and then my spider blanket. I've been working on the Call of Midwife a lot today. I watched, after I watched Bed of Roses earlier uh, and I got my bag stuff done, I, um, I watched Edward Scissorhands. I've been wanting to watch that forever, but I don't want to watch it with Jesse here because I don't know if it will scare him, but I don't want to risk it. Because last year he was afraid of um, Halloween Town. There are parts of it that scared him. So I don't want to risk scaring him, so I can only watch some movies when he's not here. And that pretty much applies to all of Tim Burton movies. Um, I'm trying to think. Because uh, he, I, I won't watch Beetlejuice because I'm afraid he'll think the parts like where Beetlejuice turns into a snake I'm afraid he'll think that's scary and the part where they're like man manipulating their faces I don't want to scare him uh he hasn't watched Nightmare Before Christmas yet uh I think we did watch Corpse Bride but it's not really scary uh we've watched Frank and Weenie the cartoon I have the movie also with Daniel Stern in it um what else it's not uh Tim Burton, but Paranorman, I don't, we haven't watched that because I was afraid he'd be afraid of the ghost girl. Because <laughs> there's parts where it's, it would be scary to a five-year-old, you know. So, I don't know. We might try another Halloween movie this year, but uh, last year we had to stick to, like, the 
Like we watched Charlie Brown. It's a Halloween movie. <laughs> and we watched, um, he watches Hocus Pocus. Ooh, like Peppa Pig, you know, all those little kid shows that Halloween specials, things like that. I just think it's too, still too small because he's afraid of some things. There's some video, you know, movies we've watched where we had to stop it because he got scared of it. Um, there's actually a uh, Disney movie like that. It's Zootopia. There's a part, uh, my hand's shaking, so the phone's probably shaking. I get shaky hands sometimes. Um, there's a part when, because you know the animals in that are like being controlled. So they're, they're more like, instead of being humanoid animals, they're animal animals. <laughs> uh, the little, all the, what's that thing called? Otter? Is it an otter? I can't remember now. You know, it's like got red eyes and it's mean and like tearing stuff up. That part scared him. So we had to turn it off. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, all this to say, I can't watch any of my Tim Burton movies when Jesse's home. And I love Tim Burton. I grew up watching him. And, uh, I guess it shaped who I am. Because, <laughs> uh, I was a little tiny kid when Number for Christmas came out. Because it came out in 93, and I was three. But I watched it my whole entire life. And Edward Scissorhands, once I was old enough to watch it. And Beetlejuice and Sleepy Hollow and Secret Window and <laughs> Big Eyes and Big Fish. And even the, the Tim Burton Batman. <laughs> Just, if it's Tim Burton, I'm going to love it. But yeah, now I'm going to take this off, watch some more videos, and crochet away. And I'll try to catch up with you guys later. I don't know if I'll remember. It's already five something. It's like almost 5 30 but yeah okay it's much later now it is almost seven and i got three of my christmas squares done <laughs> in the errand i gotta make four so i need to make one more of this color and then i gotta make four of the green color this time instead of the red and then the appliques that will be on the brown this time will be little christmas trees and i also put in my scrap ball on my spider blanket let me kind of lay it out here in the chair the orange ball that i got today so there it is it went from here around pretty much three sides ran out right here so yeah it's coming along <laughs> i uh i'm getting close to needing to put my own yarn in there let's see here 12 13 two more days right yeah <laughs> two um of scrap balls from the swab and then the rest will be from my stash i also wove in all the ends yesterday on this when i sewed on that um black widow spider i wove in all the ends except for you know these are today's ends so i wanted to go ahead and get caught up on that so that i didn't wait too long and it got crazy because <laughs> i'm not playing on lining this blanket i don't think i don't know i'm hot who knows but uh i went ahead and just wove in all the ends and on my Christmas blanket, I am just knotting the ends. Can you see that? Because I am going to line this. I'm going to pick out some cute fleece that goes good with it. Because Joann's, usually when it starts getting cooler outside, they have really good sales on their fleece. Um, yeah, the big rolls. Get it for pretty cheap by the yard um, sometimes. So, yeah. I'm still watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I uh, stopped to listen to music for a little while, just relaxing and crocheting, and then I went back to watching YouTube videos. So, I'm, I'm debating on whether I want to go clean out Jesse's closet, because <laughs> it's stuffed full of our stuff and his stuff and the baby stuff that we've been getting gifted to us by people and stuff that we've already bought, and it needs to be organized. But I don't know if I want to go do it or not. I might wait until tomorrow and have Devin help me, because he's off work tomorrow. I don't know. Jess, we're going to pick Jesse up Wednesday morning for my mom's. Uh, he has a dentist appointment that morning to get his teeth cleaned. And then that evening for dinner, I'm going to make mummy dogs, which is hot dogs wrapped in uh, crescent rolls. Batter, you know, the bread and stuff and baked. And then it looks like mummies. Because um, I thought it would be cute for Halloween. And it's not that both the boys are going to be home. So, yeah. And we're also hopefully going to the pumpkin patch this coming Sunday if it doesn't rain. It's supposed to rain on Saturday. But Devin's off Sunday, so I'm hoping we get to go then. Uh, hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm probably going to go ahead and close the vlog here because it's, it's almost 7 and I'm just going to relax for a little while and then go to bed. And, um, yeah, so I might crochet a little bit more or I might go clean. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. But I will see you guys tomorrow for vlog Vlogtober Day. 12 also my etsy shop will be updated tomorrow afternoon 
at 5. And, yeah. I don't, oh, I'm also going to film a Happy Mail video if um, my packages come. I'm expecting some packages that were supposed to come. And I don't know if they're going to come or not. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, I guess if I make the video, you'll see it. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hey, I wanted to hop on here at the end of this to show you what I did with the salt and pepper shakers. I've had a few people comment, um, ask me what I was doing and why I was doing it that way or whatever. But it was just a tip that I learned uh, somewhere, <laughs> probably cooking videos, that uh, most salt and pepper shakers have bumpy bits on the bottom. Ooh, my camera's falling. <laughs> Say, So, uh, if you turn them upside down, normally you would just have to, like, shake it to get, like, especially pepper. It, like, stops, see? And you have to keep shaking it to make it come out. But if you hold it upside down and rub your salt over it in a circular motion, it the vibration causes it to pour out. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. See how it's pouring out? And then you stop, it just stops. Same thing with salt, except my salt does have more holes on it, like most salt, so it does come out a lot quicker. So you have to be more careful with salt because it, uh, it dumps out. But that's what I was doing. The vibration makes it pour out steady so you don't have to sit there doing this <laughs> or opening it. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys so that you didn't think I was crazy <laughs> rubbing my salt and pepper sugar together. Now i got to put these back in there. That's why I put them in bowls. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to hop on here and let you guys see that. So yeah, I hope that helps. <laughs>